So why locks? Well, I decided on traditional locks because it offered me the benefit of both staying natural and low maintenance. Um, I have a very busy and active life and interlocking my locks allows me more time between maintenance. I usually interlock my hair eight weeks, sometimes 10 weeks, but I usually have about, um, how about an inch of new growth um, whenever I'm ready to do my interlock. I did interlock because I had finer hair texture. My hair frizzed a lot. It took about a year or more for my hair to lock completely. And, you know, even up to two years, I was still having fuzzy, frizzy hair. I wanted uniform locks that were neat. I didn't want them too small or too big. And um, I wanted to be able to go <laughs> in the water, go swimming, to shampoo frequently if I needed to, you know. So that's why I chose interlocking. So this video basically is gonna show you a simple technique how you can interlock your hair at home. First thing you wanna do is make sure that your hair is clean so I just shampooed my hair today and it's still damp and I use this product to keep it moist and hydrated during, um, during the process. Um, you can use it like twice per week if you wanna. I rarely use product in my hair and but whenever I do this is the product I use and then I usually follow up with uh, oil that I love. I love the the African Healing Oil by Talia Wajida, I like Argan Oil. Um, I use different oil depending on how my hair is looking and feeling at a certain time and what I feel it needs. But uh, as long as you're using a lightweight oil, um, I don't use coconut oil. For some people, they like to use it, but I feel like, especially in the winter time, it's not a good choice because um, it solidifies at room temperature and it can cause um, buildup. Um, so let's get into the interlocking technique. I use this tool right now. I'm using this tool to interlock my hair. I've used this tool as well in the past. Um, I find that using this tool when you're doing interlocking on your own, it's very easier. Um, less snagging, especially when your hair is, you wanna keep your hair moist and wet, as I said before, that helps to reduce snagging as well. Um, this is easier for me because even doing the back of your hair, um, you don't need to see the back of your head. You can just feel and you can get it done. You want to also make sure that you clear the section around the lock when you're getting ready to do your interlock. And this is the tool. You attach the hair onto the tool, pull it through secure it and the technique that I'll be using today is a four point rotation so if you remember on the compass you have north east south and west that's a moniker you can use to remember um, your insertion points very important when you're doing your retightening is that you don't insert in the same point more than once. Notice I have a square right here. So there are four points. One, two, three, four. So these are going to be the four points of insertion when you're inserting the needle or the tool. You're basically 
tightening up your new growth and strengthening the base of the lock. So this is my first point. And you want to pass that through the center of your new growth as much as possible. That is very, very important. If you insert in the same point twice, that can create holes in your lock. So we don't want to do that. That can weaken your locks and cause it to break. I've had my locks over eight years, and this is the only technique I've used to maintain my locks. I never have weak ends. I never have breakage. My hair is healthy. My locks are strong. I cut my hair last year about um, in April of last year for the first time after eight and a half years of having locks they were just too long then this direction so depending on the amount of new growth you have you may find yourself doing a few rotations okay you don't want to do it too tight either so i'm just going to leave it there because that feels comfortable for me you also want to be mindful of where you do your final insertion too because that's where the lock tend to lay okay Go through the center. And that's it so I said we're not gonna make it tight and that's where it is usually with interlocking you don't have that neat sleek look but if you want to use a water-based gel to lay your edges or some people like to use a water-based gel while doing the interlocking sometimes um, that may work as well especially if you're still having frizzes and what I also do sometimes is those stray hairs on the end well I don't have any now these days that my lock is completely mature as I said I've have had them over eight years now but in the beginning um, my loctician that started my lock she would normally take those stray hair and just wrap them around the main lock and wrap them to the right in that direction okay make sure you be consistent in the direction that you are twisting those loose hair i hope you find this helpful and i hope you enjoy the rest of your evening until the next video is out see you again bye